In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can shoot some amazingly smooth vertical video shots with your iPhone or other smartphone. Whether you're shooting for Instagram stories or TikTok or Snapchat, these tips will help you make shots that really stand out without using a gimbal or any other extra gear. So let's go ahead and get started with the basics on how to move with your phone. So I'm gonna show you my basic technique here for how I keep my shot smooth when I shoot with my iPhone. The first thing to keep in mind is the body mechanics because the way your body moves is gonna determine how smooth the shot actually is. So the way I grip my phone is like this when I'm shooting vertically, usually, and sometimes I'll stabilize it with my other hand like this or in some other way like this or this. And also, I try to position myself so that when I move with my phone, I'm not moving backwards and I'm not moving sideways. I try to be walking straight ahead even if I'm not pointing the phone straight ahead. That's part of what's gonna make this look cinematic is the fact that the phone is facing one way and I'm moving another way. I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, let's open up the camera app. Stabilization works best on the native camera app, so that's what we're using here. First thing to do is position my phone sort of how I want it. Okay, so that's basically my shot of the waterfall there. And now I'm gonna set my exposure, tapping on the brightest part of my shot. There we go, AEAF lock. By tapping on the brightest part of the shot, I engage the HDR of the camera. In other words, it's gonna sort of equalize out all the rest of the exposure, as long as it knows what it should set as the bright part of the shot. So feet straight forward, phone to the side, facing my subject. Arm is sort of like, like this at a 90 degree angle. Second arm is here to stabilize in case I need it. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of smoothly walk forward as if I was using a gimbal. Same kind of ninja walk. Three, two, one, rolling camera. And let's shoot a little 10 second shot. Here we go. Tiny baby steps. Whenever I stop moving, I slowly drift to a stop with my body. Imagine it's sort of like a hockey puck or something, slowly drifting to a stop on the ice. That's how smooth you want the end of your shot to be. When you're shooting with a phone, you do want to take into consideration the lighting, just like you would with any photography or cinematography. So in this case, I'm trying to shoot into the backlight here. I want the sun to be behind the subject. I'm pointing the phone toward the sun as much as possible. And that's because the iPhone has built-in HDR, so it has really high dynamic range built in, and it can handle this kind of light just fine. And I find backlight on the phone to be much more beautiful than front light, as you see here. All the leaves here are just bouncing the light back at the camera, which makes it look very flat. Whereas when I shoot into the backlight, you get the translucency the light is shining through the leaves instead. So I'll go ahead and try a quick little walking shot going down this path here. You can make your shots look more dynamic if the phone is moving through an object in the foreground. So I'm angling up so you see the sun in the shot. And I'm just gonna push in and take a few very careful steps forward. When I do close-up shots with my iPhone, I lock my focus and my exposure on the subject just like that because that keeps the background out of focus even if the subject is not in the frame. So see if I move the lantern out of the frame, then I move it back in the frame, it doesn't shift the focus to the background. If I didn't do that, watch what happens. When the lantern goes out of the frame, then the camera focuses on the background. Not cool. If you happen to have a waterproof phone like I do, then you can use that in your shot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn my phone upside down so that the camera is at the bottom instead of at the top, upside down, and I'm going to just do sort of a crane move. So I'm gonna hold it like this, 
and I'm gonna drop it slowly and then all the way yeah, into the water. If you're looking for a little variety in your shots, you can do a tilt up from your feet as you walk. That's an easy one to do anywhere that you happen to be walking around. So what I do is I just grip the phone like this, use my other hand to stabilize, and I point it down at my feet like this, and then use the wide angle lens, this is gonna be the wide lens, and as I walk forward, I just slowly, smoothly tilt up using both hands to stabilize the phone. Just gonna demonstrate one more technique here, and this is adding a bit of roll to the shot. So all I'm gonna do is hold the phone like this, two hands, and roll it a bit as I walk, which will be a cool sort of corkscrew effect. So those are a few quick tips for shooting vertical video with your phone. Hope you found them useful. If you enjoyed this, please check out the link in the description for my film school unscripted studio, where I teach all kinds of lessons about run and gun filmmaking. So please click like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Did you buy a gimbal, but now it's sitting around collecting dust on the shelf because you're not getting the shots that you want? Well, it's not your fault. Now with gimbals, you're able to achieve shots that used to take an entire Hollywood crew. Gimbals are extremely powerful tools, but you need to know a few secrets in order to get the most out of them. I've been a gimbal user since the first generation of single arm gimbals came out way back in 2014. What I'm gonna teach you are some techniques that you're not gonna find in the user manual and you're not gonna find them on YouTube. This is an encyclopedia of gimbal moves with detailed instructions on how to do each one with visual examples, both in a classroom type setting and out in the real world on a crowded busy street with lots of obstacles that you have to avoid and you can draw from it for your own inspiration every time you go out and shoot. You could improve your gimbal skills in 24 hours. The Gimbal Masterclass is open. Click on the link and join me today.